Welcome back here to Bleed Blue 365. Be here. But who else would be here? Um, but we're going to go ahead and discuss a little bit about this uh, Arkansas-Kentucky game. And then we're going to do a little bit of a preview for the Georgia-Kentucky game. No hate involved, except some memes. Uh, but I got, I'm sorry, Georgia, my girlfriend. Yeah, I'm going to the game. Y'all can always find me. Uh, but anyways, stay tuned. Alright guys, you know, Kentucky got the big win Saturday over Arkansas, 24 to 20. Um, Lynn Bowden got SEC Player of the Week for his, his game. Uh, like I said Saturday, I remember at one point in time he's at 196 yards rushing. Uh, you also got um, Stoops and Grant came out and said they just they stuck with Lynn because uh, they gave Sawyer the week off and they had a game plan. They already invested in it. And they really didn't want to waste all that uh, investment. So they started Lynn. Uh, sounds like Sawyer Smith is going to be back this this week uh, against Georgia. I don't – I, I kind of hope not. I think Lynn Bowden gives us the best opportunity to even be competitive. Uh, I, I really think our offense is set up to be a dual threat, have a dual threat quarterback. Um, Terry Wilson has a seed in this uh, offense. Steven Johnson succeeding in this offense. Drew Barker, mm, not so much. Uh, Toes will be four grand, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Danny Clark and Gunnar Hope really didn't get no playing time. Um, so, I mean, I, I, Sawyer Smith, I mean, we, we looked good against Florida. I, we really did. Until we went conservative. And I didn't. I'm sorry. I just. I, it is what it is. Uh, Grant finally admitted to not sticking to his game plan. Uh, this week he stuck to it. And he really believed in it. Uh, we came out victorious. So. Uh, I don't. So I really don't know. I'm going to just start watching Grant a little more. Uh, I think Grant does a good job. It just. He's predictable. You know. I. I mean, I know sometimes you're going to be, you know, everybody in the, in the stadium is going to know you're going to run the ball. But it's how you execute that run. Uh, that It is what it is. I might to get into that. Uh, but big win. My, my main question is, uh, is Chance Port really hurt or is he benched? Uh, I kind of wonder, and I'm starting to really wonder if we're going to lose Chance. Uh, his dad's been... Both of them have been taken, you know, really been picked on on social media. Uh, and as fans, we need to let that go. Um, I see his dad still on Facebook. I'm friends with him. Uh, he's a good guy. Uh, he's in chance is a really good kid. Um, other than that, go just leave the kids alone, man. Let them play football. Chance Poor, for a reason, was one of the best kickers and punters of the nation when we were recruiting. Uh, it just takes time. Austin McGinnis wasn't Austin McGinnis with his freshman year. Uh, he's going to miss some. Uh, I, I know Chance missed some key ones, but it's all right. We'll be all right. Uh, you know, but I, I really want to see Lynn Bowden. I didn't watch the whole uh, press conference today yet, but I want to see Lynn. I, I really do. I want to see Lynn Bowden. And... I think he gets his best chance to win. And I really would like to keep him out there, back here at quarterback, you know, the rest of the season. Uh, but I think that's all. I'm just going to finish that off with Arkansas. I mean, uh, the famous words, it was one hell of a game. Uh, just like Jerry Lorenzen said years ago, uh, when all, all the Arkansas fans were leaving, uh, I – I don't know, guys, but uh, I like what the I like what the 
Kentucky did for him and his family. Uh, he, he's a legend in Kentucky football. We'll never have – there'll never be another Jerry Lawrence. And I know I haven't really addressed it. I mean, I, I grew up – I was in high school, I think, middle school, high school when he was playing. Uh, maybe a little less. Uh, you know, it's one of the dudes I grew up. I, I, I You know, I, when I grew up, I watched. Um, but – I just want y'all kind of touch base with y'all. I am going to do a, a hate video this week. I, I am. Uh, doesn't mean I think Georgia's going to you know, lose to us. I'm a Kentucky fan. Uh, I'm, I do a lot of this stuff for fun. Um, I felt better before South Carolina beat Georgia. Uh, and I really don't think we were that far off of you know, from beating South Carolina. We just stuck with Sawyer Smith, and he was injured too long. Um, other than that, it is what it is. Uh, I got a truck backing in over here. I'm sorry, guys. But, uh, I, I don't know, man. They kind of admitted to um, sticking with him too long. I mean, that's hindsight for 2020. But in-game situation, it gets hard. And, I mean, Lynn Bowden came in and gave us a touchdown. Uh, I think it would been a lot better if we brought in Lynn a lot sooner when it was like 10 to nothing. Uh, but Georgia did lose to South Carolina. I didn't think Kentucky was that far off of South Carolina. Uh, we ended up getting blown out by South Carolina. But Kentucky hung with them pretty good until our defense got tired. Uh, that's just how I kind of see that. Um, but, and I thought Georgia was vulnerable. I thought they beat South Carolina, but I thought they were vulnerable. They hadn't really been showing up the first half of their games. They've been coming out in the second half and pulling away and blowing teams out. Um, they kind of did the same thing as South Carolina. And the final score was 20-17. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, South Carolina was up 17-10 at halftime, something like that. Um, so Georgia, you know, did defense stepped up and I, I just thought the offense had been inconsistent and, you know, they've been holding off and I thought maybe Kentucky could get in there, get out to a fast start and, and just kind of get Kentucky, you know, get Georgia behind the, the chains. Now I'm just afraid that Georgia's going to take out all of their fucking frustration on us and we're just going to be sitting ducks. Uh. I mean, I think Kentucky's got a good team. Uh, we just had three bad games for the most part. Well, not even three bad games. We had two bad games in a bad fourth quarter. And, and that just kind of stuck with us. Uh, I would like to see Kentucky get this turned around and let's let's go play football. Uh, but I hope you all enjoy these videos. Uh, if you ain't already done so, I'm doing all this out of fun. Uh, I will do a hate video probably Thursday. It may be up Thursday. It may be up Friday. I don't know yet. Uh, but until then, man, let's go, cats, and fuck the dogs. Peace.